Back in the 1960s, uh, Roger Sperry, uh, who is a, a prominent neuroscientist, did a series of studies on patients who had had uh, split brain operations. And these are patients who had severe epilepsy, in which uh, an epileptic focus would begin in one hemisphere of the brain and travel through the corpus callosum, which is a bundle of fibers connecting the two hemispheres, and cause a generalized seizure. It was recognized by surgeons in the mid 20th century that if you cut the fiber bundle that connected the two hemispheres of the brain, that you could prevent the seizures from becoming generalized and you could greatly improve the quality of the patient's life. So a number of patients had this operation called, called a corpus callosotomy. It's an operation that I've performed and that many neurosurgeons have performed. And um, surprisingly, after the operation, the patients, uh, their seizures would get better, of course, but they really weren't much different. That is, that their brains were essentially cut in half, but they still seemed to be a unitary person. They still seemed to be fairly normal. Sperry was a neuroscientist who studied these people in detail, and he did find that there were some subtle abnormalities as a result of cutting the brain in half. But the abnormalities were very subtle. They were so subtle that the experiments he did won him the Nobel Prize. But they weren't obvious. They weren't obvious changes. And what that implies is that the, the human mind is not purely uh, generated by the matter of the brain. Otherwise, cutting the brain in half would have profound effects on the human mind. It might make two people. Certainly, it would, it would create a, a, a rather profound difference in a, in a person's state of consciousness, and it doesn't. You can cut the brain in half, and the person can't tell the difference except that he has fewer seizures. There are some subtle differences, but the differences can only be detected with literally Nobel Prize winning research that shows little differences in perception.